Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Saad, uh, for this wonderful introduction for today's webinar. Uh, by way of introduction, I'm uh, Dr. Heba, as you said, I'm lecturer of anesthesia, surgical ICU, pain management, uh, Cairo University, Egypt. Uh, I welcome you all uh, in today's fantastic scientific night. Uh, first, I would uh, like to thank uh, Professor Dr. Saad and his mega learning team for giving me this privilege actually to be part of this session. I'm really honored uh, to join in this scientific forum, gathering all those distinguished uh, professors, uh, outstanding experts okay. in the field of anesthesiology. Uh, Dr. Saad, really your professional and great efforts are very, are very well appreciated. You make us all feel like a family, really. Second, I want to thank all eminent professors and participants sharing their experience and participating in this session. Furthermore, many thanks to, uh, to our spectacular attendees. Okay, uh, let's start our session. Allow me to introduce our eminent uh, guest speaker, great professor, Dr. Ahmed Mustafa Abdelhamid. He's a professor of anesthesiology, ICU Faculty of Medicine, Banha University, Egypt. Um, he is a head of critical care medicine department, as well as head of open heart anesthesia unit in Banha University. He's a course director of physics and clinical measurement. Uh, actually, he obtained his MD degree in anesthesia intensive care uh, back in 2004. Um, he's have, uh, he has a special interest in, uh, in some uh, specialities. Uh, he attended many, um, many courses uh, regarding uh, advanced life support, major incidence medical management and support, pediatric life support all uh, to, uh, in the Arubian, uh, from the European Resuscitation Council, uh, as well as um, he took basic cardiac life support and many other courses. Please, uh, Dr. Dr. Ahmed, please. We are all ears. Uh, we are waiting uh, for your interesting lecture. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, Dr. Heba, for your kind words. Uh, we are going to do it to speak. Up. Thank you, Dr. Heba, for your kind words. Uh, we are going to do to speak about uh, cardiac surgery associated acute kidney injury. Uh, acute kidney injury is a long recognized complication and the strongest risk factor uh, for this inpatient undergoing cardiac surgery. Uh, it is commonly encountered the clinical syndrome that in its most severe form increases the incidence of operative mortality through to eight folds. Uh, Preoperative renal dysfunction is a major determinant of uh, both operative and long-term mortality following cardiac surgery. Even patients with mild renal dysfunction before surgery Prof. are Ahmed. more... Prof. Ahmed. Yes, now uh, The slide doesn't go with you. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry for that. Would you be kind yeah. to start from the beginning, please? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, just to enter. Okay, لا لا ده هي كانت كان Okay, so just from the start. Okay, kidney injury is a long recognized complication and the strongest risk factor for this inpatient undergoing cardiac surgery. It is a commonly encountered clinical syndrome that in its most severe form increases the incidence of mortality of operative mortality three to eight folds. Uh, Preoperative renal dysfunction is a major determinant uh, of both uh, operative and long-term mortality following cardiac surgery. Uh, even patients with mild renal dysfunction before surgery are more likely to experience AKI with uh, a compromised outcome. Uh, it is essential to, uh, to early recognize a high risk patients for developing post-operative AKI to give uh, the appropriate support. Uh, definitions uh, of AKI. Um, for decades, uh, there was no standard definition or, or staging system for uh, diagnosis of AKI, and more than 30 different definitions were used over time. Uh, the most uh, popular of those uh, definitions uh, are uh, rifle classification, uh, a king classification, and the Kidigo uh, classification. 
in uh, two uh, thousand two uh, in uh, two thousand and four, uh, rifle uh, classification was introduced. Uh, it defined and staged renal failure over seven days into five classes of increasing severity: uh, risk severity, injury, failure, loss of kidney function, and end stage uh, renal disease. Uh, The first stage of AKI in rifle classification is currently defined as an increase in serum creatinine uh, one and a half fold, with increase in glomerular filtration rate more than 25%, and decrease urine output less than 0.5 uh, millig uh, milliliter per kg per hour for six hours. Uh, the second stage of, uh, of, uh, of AKI is currently uh, defined as increase in serum creatinine uh, two folds, the reduction in estimated glomerular filtration rate more than 50%, and decrease urine output less than uh, 0.5 milliliter per kg per hour for uh, 12 hours. And the third stage of uh, AKI in rifle classification is currently defined as an increase in serum creatinine three folds, with a reduction in estimated glomerular filtration rate more than 75%. And decrease urine output less than 0.3 milliliter per kg uh, for uh, hour, uh, per hour, or uh, 24 uh, for 24 hours, or anuria for more than uh, 12 hours. Uh, the fourth stage of AKI is currently defined as complete loss of renal function more than four weeks. And the last, uh, the fifth, and the last stage of AKI in rifle classification is currently defined as end stage renal disease more than uh, three months. Uh, a revised revision uh, of the rifle criteria was suggested by uh, Acute Kidney Injury Network, a keen group in uh, 2007. Uh, it introduced four many changes. Uh, number one, uh, glomerular filtration rate was omitted from the definition system. Uh, number two, a period of six days, uh, seven days, sorry, for serum creatinine. Uh, changed, uh, changes replaced by uh, uh, 48 hours. Uh, number three, uh, serum creatinine changes uh, as low as uh, 0.3 milligram per deciliter in the lowest measure considered as AKI. And the fourth, uh, the two last uh, rifle changes uh, stages uh, are deleted. Uh, the Kidney Disease Improving uh, Global Outcome uh, Workshop proposed a new definition. Uh, AKI is defined uh, when any of the following three criteria is met. Uh, increase serum creatinine by 50% in seven days. Uh, increase serum creatinine more than 0.3 milligram per deciliter in 48 hours or uh, oliguria. Instance of uh, cardiac surgery associated AKI. The instance of cardiac surgery associated AKI is varies from 5 to uh, 42 per percent. Uh, this wide range of incidence uh, of uh, cardiac surgery associated AKI depends on its definition. Uh, rifle has been done to identify progressively worsening degree of renal dysfunction. The function of uh, the kidneys uh, is both elimination of nitrogenous uh, waste products and the production of urine. Either uh, serum creatinine, glomerular filtration criteria, or urine output criteria uh, can uh, be used in these models. The incidence of AKI with both akin and rifle criteria was mostly equal. Uh, Kidigo criteria demonstrate greater sensitivity to detect uh, AKI and predict in hospital mortality, but still. Uh, don't come close to identify AKI at the time of uh, renal insult and to provide no information uh, of the nature of the, uh, of the injury. Etiology of AKI. Uh, AKI has been divided into pre-renal, uh, renal, and uh, post-renal with regard to etiology. Uh, in, in surgical patient, pre-renal and uh, renal, uh, followed by renal etiology, is the most common cause of AKI. As volume changes uh, are common uh, during cardiac surgery, a cardiac surgery associated AKI can be divided into volume responsive and non-volume responsive, which usually matches pre-renal and renal etiologies. Uh, renal etiology of AKI is caused by various factors, including ischemia and ischemia reperfusion injury, inflammation and oxidative stress, exogenous and endogenous toxins, 
metabolic abnormalities and neurohormonal activation. They can briefly divided into uh, hemo, hemo, uh, hemodynamic inflammatory and nephrotoxic factors. The proper clinical differentiation between pre-renal, intra-renal, and post-renal causes of AKI must be the first step for clinical approach uh, to, these, to those patients. Um, the complex effect of cardiopulmonary bypass often induce some degree of AKI. Uh, uh, Mechanisms include renal hypoperfusion uh, from low flow, uh, low flow pressure nupal style perfusion with hemodilution and hypothermia, as well as inflammatory response that may maintain afferent arteriolar uh, constriction. In this early postoperative period, uh, the most common cause of uh, a further renal uh, uh, results uh, is a low cardiac output state. When, uh, when a low cardiac output state or hyperfusion persists, the kidney compensatory reserve gradually becomes exhausted. A filtration reserve is exceeded and the exogenous, uh, and the exogenous vasopressor increases afferent arteriolar uh, resistance, resulting in a fall in the glomerular filtration rate. At this point, pre-renal azotemia and oliguria may occur, but tubular function may still intact. Uh, a more prolonged period of ischemia uh, will cause a structural tubular injury uh, with cell disruption that may obstruct the tubules with back leak of fluid into the circulation. Uh, there is also uh, oxidant injury and inflammatory phenomena that results in further hypoperfusion and damage to tubular cells. Uh, risk factors for uh, uh, acute kidney injury. Uh, patients related factors, uh, patients may be more susceptible to AKI by their uh, sex, uh, age, uh, pre-existing cardiac function, uh, pre-existing coronary disease, uh, previous cardiac surgery, uh, or comorbidities such as uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or diabetes. Uh, this prolonged background is often exacerbated by frequent administration of non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, diuretics, uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, uh, or angiotensin receptor blockers, uh, uh, which uh, also contribute to impair glomerular uh, hemodynamics. Uh, Procedure-related uh, factors. Uh, cardiopulmonary bypass time, uh, prolonged cardiopulmonary bypass time, prolonged uh, uh, cross clamping time, uh, and uh, off bump uh, versus on bump uh, cardi uh, cardiopulmonary bypass, pulse style uh, versus temporal style perfusion, hemolysis, uh, hemodilution, and hemoglobinuria. Uh, intraoperative factors include type of surgery, uh, type of uh, cardiopulmonary bypass used, uh, hypothermia, uh, deep hypothermic circulatory arrest, uh, duration of cardiopulmonary bypass, and uh, embolism. Uh, Postoperative factors include low cardiac output state, uh, hypotension, uh, intense vasoconstriction, uh, aceroembolism, uh, sepsis, and nephrotoxins. Uh, the Cleveland Clinic uh, has developed a score to predict AKI after cardiovascular surgery. The score ranges between 0 and 17 points. Uh, four risk categories of increasing severity uh, were formed uh, arbitrarily. Uh, scores 0 to uh, 2, uh, 3 to 7, uh, sorry, 3 to, to, to 5, uh, 6 to 8, and uh, 9 to uh, 13. Uh, the incidence of AKI across these categories in the test set range between 0.5 uh, and 22.1%. Uh, the score is valid and accurate in predicting acute renal failure in open heart surgery. Uh, also, the score is also, is also valid in predicting AKI across all risk categories. Pathophysiology. Uh, the pathogenesis of AKI uh, after cardiac surgery is not completely understood. Uh, it is very unlikely uh, that a single etiologic uh, factor will cause uh, preoperative AKI. Uh, it is a consequence of multiple interactive, preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative pathways. Uh, recently, genetic predisposition to AKI has been studied. Uh, the greatest influence on renal outcome 
uh, is the complexity and the emergent nature of the cardiac surgical procedure. Uh, two aspects of uh, cardiopulmonary bus are critical uh, for favoring uh, the onset of uh, AKI, uh, inflammatory state uh, and hemodilution. Uh, the carrying capacity of oxygen is uh, decreased by hemodilution, which is inevitable during cardiopulmonary bypass. Uh, this plus the number style flow puts the kidney at danger of ischemia. Hematocrit level less than 24% uh, uh, increase the risk of AKI. Uh, the kidney medulla is more susceptible uh, since its oxygen delivery is already low. Uh, prolonged cardiopulmonary bus, prolonged aortic cross clamping time, uh, cardiac ischemia, reperfusion injury, and low cardiac output syndrome are some factors that influence renal uh, blood flow and the trigger renal ischemia besides the tubular insult associated with the inflammatory response and the tubular oxidative stress. Uh, also, uh, exogenous and endogenous toxins, metabolic abnormalities, and the neurohormonal activation. Uh, many studies uh, can conclude that the risk of AKI was highest in patients receiving more than two units red blood cell. Diagnosis of AKI. Uh, serum creatinine has helped in defining and staging AKI. However, it has uh, important limitations. Uh, number one, uh, the rifle uh, Akin and the Kidigo criteria were not designed for early diagnosis, uh, for early diagnosis of perioperative uh, AKI, uh, given that they are based on changes in serum creatinine occurring uh, 24 hours to seven days after the original insult. Uh, number two, uh, serum creatinine is affected by age, uh, sex, muscle mass, diet, uh, drugs, and intravascular volume loading independently of, of uh, renal function. Uh, number three, creatinine will not be higher than normal range until 50% of the renal function is lost. Number four, uh, the serum creatinine frequently fall after cardiopulmonary bypass due to hemodilution and they may have a delayed raise despite a marked reduction in the pulmonary filtration rate. This limitation has spurred the search for biomarkers of early AKI that might timely direct intervention that could alter renal outcome. Measurements of biomarker may be the most sensitive mean of early detection of AKI. Pulmonary, uh, sorry, serum uh, biomarkers. Um, uh, use of cardiopulmonary bypass is associated with an increase in virtually all kidney-specific proteins uh, that are markers for tubular damage. Uh, some of these, such as uh, uh, neutrophil gelatinase-associated lipocaline, uh, uh, cysteine C, kidney injury molecule 1, and interleukin 18, uh, have been shown to be early biomarker uh, of AKI that correlate with severity and duration of AKI. These biomarkers may be noted within two to six hours uh, of, surgical, of surgery and correlate to the extent and duration of AKI. This variable indicator that proceed elevation in serum creatinine. Urinary biomarkers. Uh, the product of uh, the urinary biomarkers concentration was associated with disease severity and the increased risk of AKI and the mortality. However, elevation of these biomarkers uh, was transient. Uh, overall, uh, biomarkers show poor predictive performance in these patients. Uh, urine analysis also is the most important invasive, uh, non-invasive test in the initial uh, workup uh, uh, acute uh, kidney injury. A complete blood count also is used for diagnosis of AKI. Uh, urine uh, uh, urine uh, electrolytes, uh, imaging studies like uh, renal ultrasonography, uh, CT scan, magnetic resonance imaging, non-invasive uh, technology like infrared renal spectroscopy, and uh, finally, renal uh, biopsy. Uh, management of, uh, pati of a patient with uh, cardiac surgery associated AKI, we have two main uh, issues in management, uh, prevention and uh, therapeutic, renal protective strategies and uh, renal uh, therapeutic strategies. Uh, renal protective strategies, uh, number one, physiological measures, we have to avoid uh, low cardiac output using judicious volume, uh, plasma volume expansion and, and the drug administration. 
uh, discontinuation of nephrotoxic drugs, optimization of uh, blood glycemic control, and the close monitoring of serum uh, creatinine level and urine output. Uh, uh, number two, uh, number B, uh, optimizing cardi cardi cardiac surgical procedure and cardiopulmonary valves. Uh, by using number one, minimally invasive uh, cardiac surgery, uh, reports have indicated the non inferiority of this approach to conventional treatment and recommend. Uh, trend of lowering the stroke rate, minimizing inotropic agent, reducing uh, blood transfusion requirements, uh, shortening uh, uh, ventilation period, minimizing kidney injury, and reduce post-operative pain and provide faster uh, recovery. Uh, Off-bump technique, uh, uh, off-bump uh, technical approach offer more physiologic renal perfusion and less systematic embolization and induce less inflammatory uh, response. Many uh, cardiopulmonary bypass uh, also offer, offer safe, complete uh, beating the heart uh, revascularization uh, and a low priming volume and accordingly uh, designed to reduce hemodilution, uh, inflammatory uh, inflammation and reduce risk of AKI uh, compared with the standard uh, pump uh, oxygen. Uh, duration of cardiopulmonary bypass uh, studies indicate, uh, indicate that longer Cardiovascular bus time and uh, aortic cross tumbling time are strongly associated with increased incidence of AKI. Uh, number five, uh, perfusion pressure during uh, cardiopulmonary bypass. Uh, in adult cardiac surgery, uh, mean arterial blood pressure between uh, 50 and 70 millimeter mercury uh, are uh, recommended. Uh, number six, pulse style uh, versus number style flow. Uh, maintaining pulse style perfusion during cardiopulmonary bypass is believed to attenuate organ injury uh, by lowering peripheral vascular resistance, uh, maintaining the better microcirculation uh, and tissue metabolism and decreasing tissue edema. Uh, hemodilution uh, during uh, cardiopulmonary bypass, uh, moderate hemodilution, uh, hematocrit concentration between uh, 24 and 25 percent was associated with lower risk of AKI, and the risk uh, increased uh, as hematocrit concentration deviated from this range in either direction. Uh, blood transfusion, uh, there is increased evidence that transfused RBCs may cause organ injury, particularly kidney injury in susceptible patients. Um, a cell sulfage technique uh, in cardiac surgery, uh, blood can be returned to the patient directly from the circulatory, from the cardiotomy suction through the bypass circuit or after washing non cellular matter by the use of cell sulfage uh, dev device. Hypothermia during cardiopulmonary bypass, we have two types of hypothermia used during cardiopulmonary bypass uh, mild to moderate hypothermia from uh, the 25. Uh, to 32 degrees centigrade, which is more, uh, which is used in most cardiac procedures, uh, deep hypothermia or deep hypothermic circulatory arrest uh, from uh, uh, 15 to 22 degrees centigrade. Uh, but uh, the rate of warming here is the critical factor uh, regarding an appropriate uh, balance of oxygen supply and demand in cardiac surgery with hypothermia. Hemolysis during cardiopulmonary bypass generated during cardiopulmonary bypass may be results in significant uh, end organ uh, injury. Uh, embolism also macroscopic uh, and the microscopic emboli, uh, both gaseous and the particulate are generated during bypass may result in significant end organ uh, damage. Uh, renal protective strategies. Uh, sorry, remote, remote ischemic preconditioning. Uh, remote ischemic preconditioning describes a technique uh, of applying mild non lethal ischemia uh, followed by uh, reperfusion with the goal of protecting uh, other organs from subsequent episodes of ischemia reperfusion. Although the mechanism of distant organ protection is not known, it is postulated that humoral, neurogenic, uh, and the modulation of inflammatory mediators are involved. Stem cells uh, have shown uh, promise in uh, ameliorating AKI from ischemia reperfusion injury. Pharmacological measures, uh, 
statins, uh, preoperative statin therapy seems to be associated with uh, decreased level of C-reactive protein, uh, lower incidence of atrial fibrillation, and the shorter uh, length of hospital stay. Uh, intravenous bicarbonate and urinary, urinary alkalinization might have antioxidant properties. Uh, phenyl dubam, which is a selective uh, selective dopaminergic receptor agonist, um, uh, that produces those dependent increase in plasma, uh, in linear plasma flow. Uh, with a decrease in renal vascular resistance and the maintaining maintenance of glomerular filtration rate, uh, increase also uh, blood flow to the renal cortex and the medulla, and they inhibit tubular uh, reabsorption of sodium. Uh, Manitol is a osmotic diuretic that is widely used in priming the fluid for cardiopulmonary bypass uh, to reduce incidence of renal dysfunction. Uh, it increases the urine flow, urine blood flow, sorry, renal blood flow, uh, cardiac output ratio, decreased renal vascular resistance, uh, but no evidence of changes in markers uh, of glomerular filtration rate was observed. Atrial uh, natriuretic peptide, uh, beta type natriuretic peptide has been de demonstrated in several studies to provide renal protective benefit when used during surgery. Uh, Anti-inflammatory agents like uh, n cysteine, uh, dexamethasone, uh, are used to modify the inflammatory response to uh, cardiopulmonary bypass in patients undergoing cardiac surgery. Uh, alpha-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, uh, dexamethasone, it has a new protective effect that could be achieved by its symbiotic activity, uh, promoting renal uh, blood flow via inhibiting vasoconstriction and promoting adiuresis effect via decreasing renin angiotensin vasopressin and increasing glomerular filtration resulting in increased sodium and water excretion. Uh, fluid and diuretic management. Fluid management, uh, we have two types of fluid, crystalloid and colloids. Uh, crystalloid fluid, uh, is, uh, is, uh, crystalloid solutions are recommended. Uh, colloid solutions is associated with increased risk of AKI. Uh, studies showed that the, the, the use of diuretics uh, has been associated with increased risk of renal replacement therapy. Uh, renal uh, therapeutics, the goal of renal therapeutic strategies is number one, treatment of uh, the disease associated with AKI, uh, minimizing the further uh, aggregation of uh, kidney damage, uh, treatment of complication like hyper, uh, hyperkalemia, metabolic acidosis, uh, and the hyperhydration, and in many situations, this is treatment become uh, mandatory. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor Dr. Ahmed, for this presentation. It covered nicely and the globally the topic, uh, and you discussed it in a very attractive and uh, simple way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, uh, there is uh, not any uh, not any question until now. So uh, please be with us if if uh, if any question came later. Thank you.